So today we're going to be doing a unit review on this Piccolo and Vegeta that exchange into Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, I am going through all of the cards that have just came out recently because I'm going backwards from from what cards that were recently released from this worldwide down celebration and downwards so I can go ahead and get some of these newer cards out of the way. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason why I'm talking about some of these newer cards before I go ahead and move backwards towards cards I haven't talked about. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about this Piccolo and Vegeta that exchange into Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now, their leader skill is Worthy Rivals and Bond of Master Disciple, 3 key and 130% across the board. And of course, they come out during the part one of the Worldwide Now celebration of this year. I mean, they came out how many weeks ago? That's about, what's that, like about three weeks ago-ish? Estimate like roughly three weeks ago, so they're still a relatively newer card. Okay, so their uh super attack effect, as well as their name, is the I do not know how to say that super. I'm not saying that the super attack effect 50% <laughs> attack and defense one turn on doing supreme damage to enemy and lowering attack and defense. I know it's that I sometimes say the card does supreme, sometimes the card does like colossal. Um, sometimes I just say it, or sometimes I not. I just wanted to point that out. And their passive that being the instinctive feeling, they get three key and 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice, and they have a baseline 30% chance to dodge, and they get additional 150% attack and defense when attacking. Of course, nice considering the fact that they're getting 50% attack and defense inside their super attack effect, and they also get Give super class allies 30% attack and defense, as well as additional two key and 30% attack and defense to characters that are also on the all out struggle or movie heroes category, which is obviously nice. That's what that's two key and 60% attack and defense. That's loaded. They also foresee enemy super attacks for two turns from the character's entry turn, and they get additional 30% chance to dodge for four turns from the character's entry turn, where there's another all-out struggle category ally on the team. So you essentially you just want to be running the new the Z trio, like from the Broly movie. You just want to be running them, right? The physical trio. And they also recover 30% HP at the end of the turn, which is obviously nice. And they exchange with Super Saiyan Vegeta when conditions are met, and you can exchange from the fifth turn from start of battle. And their links are Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, Solid Support, Namekians, Gaze Respect, and Fierce Battle. So this card is pretty much revolved around Piccolo. I mean, pretty much because it's just Piccolo and then, of course, into Super Saiyan Vegeta. So, uh, and let me just read out the categories real quick. Namekians, Movie Heroes, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master Disciple, All Out Struggle, Battle of the Wits, Power, Powerful Comeback. Oh my god, I thought of Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Piccolo is not a Super Saiyan dev. Powerful Comeback, Gifted Warriors, Fuse Fighters, and Earthbred Fighters. So, what is good about this card? You know what? Let's not say that just yet. Let's just go in straight into Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? Okay, Super Saiyan Vegeta uh, pretty much has a similar super attack effect to Piccolo, except the fact that this guy gets a 30% chance to crit for one turn outside of Piccolo's uh, attack and defensive debuff to the enemy. And this guy gets 300% attack, a guaranteed crit from the character's entry turn. Okay, nice. And he also gets three key and 200% attack at defense at the start of turn. Cool. And he gets a baseline 50% damage reduction. Very nice. And he also gets additional 150% attack and defense when attacking. Of course, nice. And he launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come to super attack, just unrestricted. And he changes STR, EGL, and tech key spheres to physical once only. And he gets an additional 100% attack if there's another all-out struggle category ally attack in the same turn for the sixth turn from the start of battle. So he changes three types of key spheres into physical wow gets an additional attack buff okay and of course a bunch of his links do change from a uh, piccolo he gets super saiyan golden warrior saiyan warrior race royal lineage and prepared for battle okay wow so what is good about this card i would say absolutely what's good about this card is that from both of their pre and post exchange they have good super attack effects of course because they're gaining 50 percent attack defense for one turn uh for piccolo specifically of course key and then a high attack and defensive buff at the start of turn as well as a 30 percent chance to dodge on top of an additional 30 percent chance to dodge for four turns from the character's entry turn which is obviously nice and for seeing super attack for two turns it's good so you can get up to a 60 percent chance to dodge and uh, see super attacks for two turns, give up to two key and 60% attack and defense, provided you're on those two specific categories, that being all our struggle movie heroes, and recovering HP. So he's doing a couple of really good things for the team, giving great support, recovering HP, and also seeing super attacks. That's, that's great, absolutely. On his own end, he gets up to a 60% chance to dodge. It's nice. Yeah, that's pretty much that. While also getting an attack and defensive buff from his pass to a super attack back and attack debuffing the enemy, he's looking good. I mean, what can I say? He's looking good. And then you go into Vegeta. 
uh, Vegeta. Uh, he's going to be more so of a, like a more so like an offensive unit because he does get this medium chance to crit inside of his uh, super tactic that when you uh, exchange into, of course, Super Saiyan Vegeta himself, as well as him getting that guaranteed crit. I mean, this crit chance won't really, won't really matter until after you do your first super. So, I mean, 300% attack, a guaranteed crit, 50% uh, damage reduction, attack and defensive weapons pass to a super attack, like just like Piccolo, additional super attack chance, triple orb changing into one specific key sphere and getting additional attack is just very nice. I'm assuming that this is meant to be for the trio. I'm assuming this is meant to be for the trio. Just change those orbs specifically for that little standby goku uh so yeah that's really about it what is um bad about this card because i pretty much already said everything that's good about this card um i mean maybe could piccolo could piccolo possibly get caught if he does not dodge and more so that would be the fact that he could possibly get caught if he doesn't dodge but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because i mean he just he wants to dodge right and you have Vegeta. Uh, Vegeta is pretty much only defense and damage reduction. But even then, that 50% damage reduction will still be nice. He could possibly still get caught depending on which boss you're going up against. But yeah, these guys don't seem too shabby. Not at all. Yeah. And they are on how many 200% leader skills? They are on 10 200% leader skills. And you're more than likely going to be running them on the Z Trio uh, T. Like, yeah. The Broly. What do you call this unit? Do you guys have a nickname for them? Please let me know down below. <laughs> And the best link partner, of course, for Piccolo would be this. This is that little movie hero from the cooler movie, Piccolo. You're not really going to be running him like Orange Piccolo, absolutely. Um, but yeah, you're definitely going to be running this car right next to the little Broly movie Z trio. And then for Vegeta, his best link partner would be this little Battle of Gods uh, Vegeta. Um, but still, you're putting him right next to the Z trio, absolutely. Absolutely fucking literally, for sure. So that is it. I mean, card looks good across the board. I, I don't have any qualms or quarrels with this card. Yeah, not, not really. That's going to be about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.